Ho wa ho wa. Episode ho, four. Ho, 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 Ethics ho, ho, by ho, ho, the Pilgrim ho, ho, People. Ho, 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 Shortly after the harsh winter predicted by the Powhatan elder, John Smith receives a letter from the King of England. The letter asks John to drive the Powhatan tribe out of the land they are living on. The king orders John to do this because he believes that the tribe is simply using up their resources and that they no longer need the Powhatan tribe. John Smith reaches out to John Rolfe with the ethical dilemma he is facing. John Rolfe, the king wants us to drive out the Powhatan tribe out of their land. But John Smith, the tribe was a crucial part of our survival in the new world. We can't just do that and jeopardize our moral values. I know. But can I really go against the king's orders like that? The question is, could you live with the guilt of wrongfully doing a tribe that has helped you and your colony so much? Sometimes doing what you're told isn't always the right decision. John puts his managerial ethics into practice and tries to devise a solution to his problem that will also avoid an ethical lapse. John Smith puts his planning and organizational skills into practice and decides to relocate the tribe to an alternate alternative section of the grounds that they will inhabit. He communicated up front with Chief Powhatan out of respect. Chief Powhatan, I'm sorry, but the King of England wants to take you from this land. I'm so grateful for what you have done for my colony, so I've decided that I cannot do that. I hope you see this as an act of respect and can agree to move to an alternative section of land so you and your tribe will not be in danger. I will make sure that food production will be part of the community's effort in which both parties can help each other. John Smith, thank you for your courageous actions in not allowing someone to jeopardize your ethics as a leader. I respect you, and I will do what you have suggested. Oh. The king hears of John's decision and is not upset, but proud that he was able to solve the ethical dilemma and was, sim and was able to avoid an ethical lapse. John Smith's ability to effectively analyze and manage an ethical dilemma was important to his future success. He realized he had an ethical dilemma, analyzed it, and began forming a plan. His ability to avoid an ethical lapse or error in judgment proved to be an excellent leader with inact decision-making skills. Ho, 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 ho,